stomach tissue still remain to be examined, each one of which must be scrutinized half an hour's labor at least. But the angel of fate fortunately laid his hand on my head, and I had scarcely commenced the search again when I saw a clear and almost perfectly circular outline before me of about 12 microns in diameter. But the outline was much too sharp, the cell too small to be the ordinary stomach cell of a mosquito. I looked a little further. Here was another, and another exactly similar cell. There are many barriers to effective treatment, some of which are price, some of which are distances to the health facilities, some of which are, um, are non-availability of antimalarials and uh, diagnostics in public health facilities. So we are trying to involve the private sector. If we can improve malaria treatment, that means we decrease cost to the health system and increase productivity for the people and for the country. The biggest problem is that most people simply cannot afford to get to the doctor to be treated with the drug. And it's usually free because it's subsidised by the global fund. But if you're a poor person living a long way from a hospital, getting to that hospital may actually be too expensive, too difficult for you to, to manage it. So people die before they get to when they can actually access the drugs. How many of you have had malaria? Raise your hand. Everybody. If we empowered the communities with knowledge, they will be able to seek better treatment. Uh, I lost two of my brothers 
previous year because they died because of the malaria issue. In our own local community, we have been sensitizing people on the usage of this mosquito net. I have been teaching them how to hang the net. Malaria is one of the biggest killers, especially with children. So things like this can make people aware of what needs to be done. Every minute, in this minute, a mother, a father is losing a child. We have the resources, the technology and the know-how to prevent malaria and to treat malaria. And it's a travesty, therefore, that at least 600,000 people die from malaria every year. resources and pan-national financial support, we can, I believe, win the war with malaria. I wish you good luck with your daily battles and look forward with you all to tomorrow's victories.